Hey, and welcome to Vintry uh, Rauta opinion video. Why so windry? Well, it's pretty much um, snowing outside, and I'm really pondering whether to do some snow plowing or to talk to the camera. Decided to do both, just camera work first, because, well, now it's 25th of uh, December, so I'm putting out this video right today, right after I have done it. Now, uh, all these things aside, um, what I've been doing this fall and winter, uh, because of some people requested it, I would say only a couple of people, but nevertheless, say a prominent band member and a label manager actually uh, gave me a little bit, um, gave me a little bit of critique that lyrics are not never really discussed uh, with my um, reviews and that should be fixed. Uh, that is kind of a true. But there has been a couple of reasons why I really haven't been doing it during uh, Araldas four years. And before that on uh, Imperiumi.net's uh, uh, sorry, reviews where I've been writing these stuff almost 20 years now. Now, first of all, there are lots of uh, releases which don't have uh, lyrics to begin with. Especially the ones that are so often called as review copies or promotional copies. But that alone isn't exactly the reason why I haven't been covered them. The other reason is, well, it kind of takes too much time sometimes to fully go through, let them sing in your brain and all that stuff. And that's a kind of a luxury I don't have with the amount of review albums. The third reason is this, which I already discussed more than two years ago on the channel. You can find the opinion video if you really care about it. Is that I really don't care so much about the lyrics nowadays. That is not fully true, of course, because there are lots of really good albums where I find lyrics very interesting, especially the ones that really come to my mind, which I really like on emotional level. Not just like, hey, these are pretty cool riffs and all that stuff. Well, then the lyrics start to matter. So you really see that pattern with me. I don't know if that applies to so many other people. Who knows? Maybe it does. But for me, it matters. Music comes first. And if the music clicks, then I'm interested in, in the lyrics as well. But it re really needs that music to matter for me. Because lukewarm music, it doesn't really like push me to read those lyrics with passion and enthusiasm. I might just give it a go just because like I'm interested. Because maybe the band name or the topic of the band or maybe album covers or maybe somebody pointed out, hey, this band has good lyrics. Now the fourth reason is this. My experience in metal music, which is roughly some, well, depending how you want to count, say 35, 40 years, roughly. I mean, it was 40 years when I first listened to metal music, but around maybe some 30 years, basically, where I've been more following since my teenager years, music, or 30 plus, and um, most lyrics just don't click with me. It's, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's bullshit. But I would say it's not that many bands have talent of writing good lyrics anyway. So my rule of thumb is this. If you want to read something cool, don't look for the music. Uh, go read poems. Go read books. I mean, read... doesn't matter if it's fiction or, you know, bi biographies or whatever. Read... Uh, real articles, real media and all that stuff, if you don't read something worthwhile. But obviously poems and all that stuff doesn't really uh, have anything to do with, you know, uh, for example, um, scientific writings. So of course it's um, more about, you know, poems and tales of fiction that are the things. Sometimes obviously bands do those, for example, historical topics, and then reading a book about war, for example, or history might really make sense. But most of the time, lyrics have, of course, the kind of a style that is very, very much more comparable to poems. Never been much of a poem reader myself, even though I respect poets for having that skill and ability to transform their thoughts and emotions into words and letters and all that stuff but most people doing music are focused and skilled with music first even though you might be the best guitar player in the world doesn't mean that you can actually translate those skills into making good songs and even if you're a good songwriter even if you're able to do wonderful melodies or having good palm meter riffs for dead metal that doesn't really mean that you're a good lyricist you might be the best drummer out there in the world and you still couldn't handle the grammar. 
So that kind of all thins the lines where we're talking about some good writers. Writers for lyrics and all that stuff. Now I have had my share of writing lyrics for various bands in the past. Most of, mostly my own bands, but other bands as well. And even I can, you know, appreciate my own lyrics, even though I mean I write for a living. That is big part of my day job is writing. Sometimes it's just translation. Sometimes it's just writing on my own because I really need to get something done. And even though I know that, uh, for example, grammar-wise and uh, you know how to describe things, I know how to write. So I know it technicalities. I know the limitations with you know playing with words. I used to run a couple of blogs in the past, and like I said, I've been writing metal reviews for 20 years. It doesn't still make me a good lyricist. I mean, there are some lyrics, <clears throat> sorry, still in the past, which I'm pretty okay with, but it's not like, wow, these are some best lyrics in the world. So I have this really, really critical uh, high for lyrics. Doesn't matter which kind of a genre it is. And lots of my favorite lyrics come outside metal music. I mean, Death metal has its limitations when it comes to topics. It's not like uh, death metal bands want to just, you know, write about everything. It's mostly operating around topics related to violence, for example. And really, not too often those lyrics are very good or fascinating. They might be technically like, okay, I get what you're after, but that doesn't mean that the lyrics themselves are like, wow, I can really relate to this. Like, this is the best horror story I've ever, you know, read or heard. And when it comes to black metal, obviously, it's more open uh, and more diverse in, in terms of, you know, what kind of topics you can really write about. Be it about the occult, be it about uh, some kind of a self-reflection, be it about Satan or darker powers or wars against religion or Christ himself or whatever. But still, a lot of those lyrics are bullshit. And then there are the topics which, and other styles of music which are more better or not for lyrics. I mean, I have read plenty good trash metal lyrics, but so often they are not that good either. But there are bands. For example, I think old Metallica, for example, has a lot of good lyrics. And uh, that is probably something that many people in black metal cannot relate at all. I'm guessing, obviously, but I have the feeling that a lot of black metal people don't really enjoy trash metal. Old school people, maybe more, but in general, I wouldn't say trash metal is something that people go wild about. And some of my favorite lyrics comes from bands like Pink Floyd. Great lyrics, but nothing to do with metal anymore. Now, one thing that I got me pondering, and one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is also that recently I was reading an um, interview with a band called Skepticism, a funeral doom band from Finland, and they made some interesting points about lyrics as well. And one thing was this kind of a self-reflection thing, like they might have an idea, whether it's staring at the uh, outside skies, it might be a night sky, it might be a, this kind of a winter um, landscape or whatever, and uh, they might have, you know, the lyrics going on and then just, you know, writing it down and all that stuff, but they don't want to make a point there, like, hey, this is a story about a person dying of cancer, for example, or this might be a some, some kind of a societal commentary like how oh, the poor and the rich and blah 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 or this is some story about the battle between light and the dark evil and good and all that stuff but they make it more kind of a vague so people are like i don't know what this metaphor means but damn it's good and that is one of my problems with lyrics if your lyrics really don't have a message but they are just like vague metaphors and all that kind of a analog stuff like hey this might mean that or then again it means that for you it means like dealing with loneliness and depression for that guy it's all about getting laid and that guy over there he's thinking that these lyrics deal with you know hangover so when lyrics are really really vague is there really any kind of a message to begin with because it's all in your head it's all your imagination that makes those lyrics work Obviously, a lot of good lyrics might just be like that. So, for example, when I say some lyrics are really good, I can't really say for sure whether it's my mind figuring out and deciding these lyrics are good because my imagination decides to work for my favor. You know, making those lyrics really likable just because I think the message could be this. But the next guy would be like, 
Man, pff, they don't mean like anything like that. They're just bullshit, you know, written on the piece of paper. And, you know, even though there's a lot of passion or whatever, when the song is being done and all that stuff, they really don't mean that. And I'm like, man, you're, that's just ruined it for me. But I get it. For a lot of people, lyrics should mean a lot. Especially if you are the songwriter and you put all your emotions and thoughts and whatever into the lyrics and you're like, yeah, now I'm nailing it. And then it comes down to the very fact, are they vague or are they not? Do, do they make sense for some other people who maybe is unable to relate to whatever you're saying because it's just a different place in life, the time and all that stuff. I mean, a story of a 20 year old kid having a problem at school and with, I don't know, girls or sports or whatever. Can this be relatable to a person of 50 years old or vice versa? Maybe there is this 50 year old woman having a breast cancer and is expecting to die within next three years and she's delivering you this tragic story and then there is this 18 year old kid who has hey i don't have breasts i don't know what cancer even means death do people even live to 50 years old like shouldn't you be already dead all these are kind of our contrasts which then again put in us into different kind of boxes into different kind of um, shapes and places into different phases of life and all that stuff. So where one lyrics can be really, really good to person right here, it might be really all bullshit to a lot of other people. And having once again, these metaphors can really, you know, shuffle the deck so that it doesn't really make sense to anybody except the writer, him or herself. So once again, uh, to sum it up, my problem with the lyrics is, you know, because of a lot of these different things. Not only being, you know, maybe vague, not only because of lack of skills with the music, but sometimes the stories are boring. Maybe the grammar is bullshit. And in addition to all these reasons which I mentioned, a lot of these CDs I got for review. First of all, the language might be totally, totally different. It might be French, it might be Polish, whatever. And that act alone limits a lot why I don't necessarily deal with lyrics at all with the review video. One other thing is sometimes when the lyrics are printed and they are in English, it's just a small font or maybe some old English kind of a font, which is then again too small for me to read, especially when I'm, you know, having problems with my eyesight with the small font and not li living in a bright place always. I mean, like, for example, here, you might think this is relatively bright, surely, when the font is good enough, but when there's a tiny little print and I'm like, what the hell is this supposed to say? I really can't put any extra effort on that because it really doesn't, you know, work for me. It, it's it's not worth my time, basically. And uh, sometimes albums don't have lyrics to begin with. So there might be this album, like, for example, Reason Hail Conjure. I was figuring out, hey, maybe there is some cool, cool lyrics now that I'm actually reading for so that I can mention them during reviews. And I opened the booklet and I'm like, there is nothing. So basically all you have are song titles and then it's up to your imagination to figure out what could it mean. But when a song title is something like stones and they're like stones are kidney stones, like real rocks on the yard, or is this some kind of a metaphor to something else? You really don't know. And uh, there are lots of these kind of um, things happening. Sometimes bands release only partial lyrics, only like a couple of verses, and you're like, yeah, maybe there could be a great story, but this is like more like a quote from, I don't know, Einstein or something. It doesn't really say, make sense anything out of the context. So if you're like, hey, I have become the destroyer of the worlds. I'm like, yeah, sounds familiar. Are these real lyrics or is that a quote? That is quite a, a quote uh, from Oppenheimer, actually before uh, atomic bomb and all that stuff, or actually right after the atomic bomb. Anyway, my point here is, the, the point of this whole rant, if you wanna consider it that, is that there are so many reasons why lyrics are not worth reading, not for me anyway. Uh, it feels like big portion of the time, maybe 80, 90 person even, I would say I'm kind of a disappointed with lyrics, or I would be disappointed if I didn't have my expectations quite much lower. My point is not to say don't write lyrics, don't publish them. I think actually bands should publish lyrics and uh, all that stuff. I mean, if they're ready to release their music to the world and have it all to be heard, why not to print the lyrics as well and like say like, hey, this is how we write. If they're shitty lyrics, so what? 
move on and all that stuff. But a lot of times those lyrics are not exactly something that I'm really happy about, that I'm like hilarious, like, yay, these are funny, or these are really deep thinking, these are philosophical levels. I wish there were, I really do. I mean, what else I could enjoy in addition to uh, having an album full of good music, great cover art, especially, you know, on vinyl, you have all the big images and all that stuff, and then you have great lyrics then it would be really, really, really nailing it. It's like as if you met this really gorgeous, beautiful person who not only looks super wow, but also makes sense when he or she opens his or her mouth and says something really, really uh, enjoyable. Maybe it's also a really smart person and like, wow, all these things click. But oftentimes you only get to select like one or good sides, and the rest are like, Pfft. yeah, she looks awesome, she's a model, but dumb as fuck. All the other way around, like, hey, this person is really, really nice and smart, but, I mean, wouldn't date her. All right, this is getting uh, too much off topic, but now you have the idea why lyrics are sometimes talked about on Arauda and sometimes are not, why I'm not really enjoying the most of the time and all that yada, yada, yada. What are your thoughts about lyrics? Do you read them? And what are the kind of lyrics you get most out of? Uh, I am looking forward to hear your favorite lyrics. You can just like drop a song name, a band name, a song name, and say why these lyrics matter to you. Are there personal connection? Are they something very relatable? Or are they just cool as hell? Like, hey, Men of War singing about motorcycles and metal. I like them because motorcycles and metal are cool. I don't know. Drop me your comment. I'm really interested to hear what lyrics mean to you or do they mean anything at all to you. Looking forward to your comments and uh, meanwhile, Enjoy your Yule, Christmas, or whatever you want to call it, or don't. Uh, I'm going to go blow the snow now. So, uh, take care and see you soon with more Rauta content coming your way.